we're going to take a quick look at how you can use Google Drive and their spreadsheet app to actually import live tables from a website. So in this case, we're at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, and they have a whole web page that tracks historically uh, outbreaks of the Ebola virus. Now, we could just quite simply select this and copy it and paste it into our blank Google Drive spreadsheet. But this is the thing. We know that, in particular, this number right here, in terms of the number of cases and deaths, is going to be updated relatively frequently at the moment, given the close scrutiny of the Ebola outbreak. So what if we want to have live updates? Well, the, one of the easiest things that we can do is we can set up a live link with our Google Drive spreadsheet. It's as simple as putting in a function in the spreadsheet, uh, which you start with, of course, an equals. And the function that we want is import HTML in this case, although you note that there are a number of things that one could import, including RSS feeds, but we're going to import HTML. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to give it a web page to actually go to. So in this case, I'm going to simply go to our website right there, control C to copy it, and we're going to put it there, control V. The next thing that we need to tell it to do is to give us a table, and then we need to select which table it is. In this case, it is the I happen to know it's the first table in the row or on the page, but it could be two or three. You might have to play around a little bit. Give it a close bracket, and it sits there and it loads. And there we are. We've imported that table into our Google Docs.